What's up everyone, Tavius here, and today I want to talk to you guys about how Void 3.0 is really changing the game for us warlocks. But for each class really, if we're being honest. One thing Titans and Hunters don't have is our beloved Child of the Old Gods. So in this video, we'll go over a Void 3.0 warlock build you're gonna wanna have for your daily activities, even some nightfalls and campaign missions. As usual, first we'll go over our aspects and fragments in detail for all the new lights out there. Then we'll go over the armor and armor mods, and we'll finish up with the weapons, with a recap at the end. So without further delay, let's jump into it. So for our super, we are going with a new and improved Nova Bomb Vortex. You can go with whichever super you like, but I believe the new pool effect in Nova Bomb Vortex is the best option. It reaches the targets faster than Nova Bomb Cataclysm, and it pulls enemies inward to get extra kills. We're also going to have our Healing Rift, our Pocket Singularity Melee that makes enemies volatile, and Vortex Grenade. I've been loving having Suppressor Grenade with my Warlock, but with this build, I'm going to be getting up close to the enemies, and I really dislike suppressing myself with my own grenade. But you can go with Suppressing if that's your preference. The choice is yours. Moving on to the aspects, we got the new Child of the Old Gods, of course. But what does it do? When you cast your Rift, either healing or empowering, you create a Void Soul and damaging a target with the weapon makes your Void Soul fly to them and create an area of effect, draining enemies inside and weakening them. It doesn't matter how far the enemies are, the Void Soul will fly there and start putting in work. Also, while the target is being drained, you get grenade and melee energy back when you have a healing rift, and if you have empowering, you get health instead. And it does one more thing. Targets you kill while being drained by it grants you class ability energy, so you can get your rift back quicker. Our second aspect is Feed the Void. Defeat a target with the Void ability to activate Devour. So getting a kill with our Vortex Grenade, our Super, and with our Pocket Singularity Melee will grant us a buff Devour for 10 seconds. Getting kills during those 10 seconds will restore health and extend Devour. So one of the easiest ways to get health when you're about to die is to use your melee on a low level enemy, then when Devour is active get a kill and restore some health. Now let's move on to our fragments, and here's where it starts getting interesting. The Echo of Explosion causes targets to explode with any Void ability kills. Grenade, Melee, Child of the Old Gods, or Super. Plus this fragment gives us 10 Intellect. Next we have the Echo of Exchange. Gives us Grenade Energy with Melee Final Blows, so our Pocket Singularity will get us our Vortex Grenade back. The Echo of Provision grants us Melee Energy by damaging targets with our Vortex Grenade. So we have a nice loop of abilities here with Exchange and Provision. And last, the Echo of Instability. And this is one of the newest ones after the Vow of the Disciple raid was completed. Defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to your Void weapons. Now, volatile is one of the new verbs introduced with Void 3.0. When you shoot an enemy with volatile rounds, it becomes afflicted with unstable Void energy and will explode after a few more shots, killing other enemies around it. Now, before we move on to the armor, here's an example of what this combination of aspects and fragments do. If I throw a vortex grenade at some enemies, damaging the targets will grant me melee energy. If the enemy dies, it will explode, defeating other targets close by, and grant me volatile rounds to my void weapon. And also devour, which will heal me. Let's continue. For the armor and armor mods, on my helmet I've equipped uh, Pulse Rifle Targeting, Harmonic Siphon, Rapid Void Weapon Final Blows create an orb of power and Font of Might from the Seasonal Artifact. Picking up Void Elemental Wells grant a temporary bonus to Void Weapon Damage. On my arms, I have a Pulse Rifle Unstoppable for the champions when needed. Grenade Kickstart, and this one is only available on the Stasis Affinity for your arms. When your grenade energy is fully expended, you gain grenade energy. And last, Melee Wellmaker from the Seasonal Artifact. Power Melee Final Blows spawn Void Elemental Wells. Moving on to the chess piece, our exotic, one of my favorites, the Mantle of Battle Harmony. In case you don't know, this exotic grants you super energy for any void weapon kill. And if your super is full, it will instead grant you a temporary bonus to void weapon damage. It's one of the best exotics for the Warlocks at the moment in my opinion. I've equipped a Trace Rifle Reserves mod, Thermoshock Plating from the Seasonal Artifact to reduce incoming solar and arc damage and Seeking Wells. I really like this mod, it's only available on the Arc Affinity, but this mod makes elemental wells you create come to you. I love this mod. Moving on to the legs, I have a Trace Rifle Scavenger, Recuperation to replenish health when you pick up a normal power, and Volatile Flow from the Seasonal Artifact. And this is a good one, 
picking up void elemental wells grants you void weapons volatile rounds. Yes, so now we have two ways to get volatile rounds, by getting a kill with our grenade and by picking up a void elemental well. And last, for the class item, I have Overload Grenades from the Seasonal Artifact to stun Overload Champions. Then I have Utility Kickstart. When your Rift is fully expended, you gain Rift Energy, which is great for your Child of the Old Gods. And the last mod is Elemental Time Dilation, which extends the duration of any time-limited effect, which with this build is our Void Weapon Damage Boost when we pick up Void Elemental Wells. With this mod, the buff lasts 13 seconds, up from the usual 10. Okay, moving on to our weapons, the main weapon we're going to be using with this build is the Trace Rifle from Season of Arrivals, the Runeus Effigy. This weapon works really well with this build and synergizes perfectly with all the aspects and fragments and mods we've equipped. The exotic trait is Transmutation, which turns enemies into Void Transmutation Spheres. Spheres you can pick up and wield as weapons, you can light attack with the right bumper, heavy attack with the right trigger, and guard slash drain enemies with the left trigger. This guard ability with the Transmutation Sphere is great for staying alive surrounded by enemies. It also protects you from stun mechanics and any kill you get with the Transmutation Sphere either draining enemies or attacking with it counts as a Void Weapon Kill, which fits in with all the Void Weapon Kill parts of this build. Devour, Volatile, Making Enemies Explode, Bonus Void Weapon Damage with Elemental Wells and our Exotic Armor Piece giving us super energy with Void Weapon Kills. So yeah, this is pretty sick guys. For my primary weapon, I went with a Pulse Rifle and Unstoppable Mod. I really like this new Pulse Rifle with Outline Headstone, but you can do whatever you like for your primary. Preferably something for champions I recommend. And for your Heavy, you're going to need some decent DPS for bosses. I went with a Rocket Launcher, but you can do a Linear Fusion Rifle or even a Sword. Void Swords like the other half from Dares of Eternity are so good with this build, giving you super energy and benefiting from all the Void Weapon buffs like Exploding Enemies, Devour, Volatile and Empowering Void Weapons with Elemental Wells, all of that. Okay, here we go, so with this build we're going to benefit from Void Elemental Wells. We will get super energy with Void Weapon kills with our Mantle of Battle Harmony exotic. Getting a grenade kill will grant you Devour and Volatile rounds to your Void Weapons. Getting a melee kill spawns an elemental well which grants you volatile rounds and bonus void weapon damage. Your rift spawns the child of the old gods which will drain enemies similar to the draining from the transmutation spheres you create with Ronius effigy. But with the child of the old gods the draining grants you ability energy while the draining from the transmutation spheres grants you health. All your abilities will have super fast cooldowns picking up void elemental wells and with our fragments. And there it is my friends, my favorite boy 3.0 Warlock build at the moment. Also, one more suggestion, if you just swap Runeus Effigy for Graviton Lands, man, just try it. Thank me later. I really hope you found this video informative and helped any new lights out there come up with a good build for those tough encounters. If you did, a like and heavy attack on that subscribe button really helps the channel grow. If you want to contact me, my socials are down in the description. I want to thank you all for watching, let me know in the comments if you're running something similar or what other weapons you might be using. My name is Tavius Place and if you want to watch other informative Destiny 2 videos, you can click right here.